Yo, guys, welcome back to Civ 4. So, yes, what has happened here is I have actually played this and I obviously somehow managed to forget to record it. I really don't even know how I managed to do that because um, I didn't notice until way after. <laughs> I didn't even notice at the end, like when you're supposed to stop recording, I somehow missed that I hadn't even recorded and therefore didn't need to stop recording. I don't fucking know, man. But, um, yeah, we'll have to play it again. It's all good. And it's fairly interesting, I believe. So, yes, where we got up to? We were building quite a few wonders, actually. We managed to get Sphinx, uh, Pyramids, Hanging Gardens, and recently Great Library done in uh, the capital here. Two free great scientists. Sorry, two free scientists. So we've got, like, just permanent specialists, basically, as well as we have these, uh, great, like, super specialists that, um, will always be giving us yields in our cities as well. So, pretty good. This is probably even better, to be honest, because not only does it give us the free, uh, yields forever, but we also get the bonus, uh, great person birth rate as well. So we should get a great person in three turns apparently, and most likely it will be a great scientist. Again, it's a little annoying that you can't say for sure, like, um, yeah, what you're actually going to get. Oh, I just saw this. Okay, so this is one of our trade routes. Yeah, I guess we can't really trade with that many people, because we can't see them, but then again, we can't even see, okay, we can see Nova Carthage there. It's kind of a weird trade route to have. We've got quite a few here. Okay. Maybe if I did a bit better exploring, like going through here or something, um, we would be able to trade with more people and get more money. Since I think we also built... So yeah, Great Lighthouses plus two trade routes here. Um, and Temple of Artemis here as well. Which gives us a free priest. Uh, I'm working an artist here because I want to get the culture up to the next level. Because we can't build any more wonders here while uh, we have that. And yeah, in terms of research, we're researching cement right now. Um, potentially we can go for like generalship or something. Uh, build war elephants because we do actually have ivory... And there are some nice civics that we could uh, go for also. So there's this one. We don't actually have like one of those civics yet. Oh no, we do. But we don't have any civics down here. Which that is one of. <laughs> Sorry, I'm quite tired today. Um, but yeah, we also recently just took this, which has given us double production speed of library, aqueduct, theatre and market. So my plan is to um, try and build all those buildings since we have the text for, I think, all of them now. Uh, we'll try and build them quickly and then potentially move on to a new civic up there. But we shall see. Um, other than that, I might try and get a couple more units. Like another catapult, I think, would be nice. We've got a decent amount of units, to be honest, but more is always better. I'm thinking we actually could try and trade a resource. Let's say... Okay, they don't like that. What about... We kind of do have two cotton. We also do have two incense. I can't really get to it right now. We'll go with that. I think I'm trading one cotton with uh, Carthage. But... Yeah, unfortunately we're also at war with the Ethiopians uh, and the Greeks, but the Greeks are getting eaten by Rome, so I'm not too worried about them. We defended up like one of their attacks quite well. Yeah, Ethiopia has a lot of troops, but they don't really seem to be actually forming an attack or anything, and they're not that strong. Like, if they come in the flat, we'll kill them quite easily, I think. Uh, they're just quite hard to kill when they're in the mount, the hills, because they get like a hill bonus. But yeah. Other than that, we have Carthage, who don't seem to hate us too much. I don't really know why he wants war so bad, but... Okay. Yeah, that's 
probably a decent place to stay. Okay, let's scout over here. Let's try and bring him back. Yeah, we are working pretty good stuff here. It's just quite hard to grow, it seems. I think we're also golden aging right now. Yeah, we are. One turn of golden age left there. I can see that's pretty nice. Let's go. Alright, nice. Wait, was I dumb? No, I did import the right thing. I imported the wine, not the dyes. Good. So that's another resource as well. Looking pretty good on happiness, I have to say. How do you get, like, we love the king day in this? Um, I feel like that is a thing. Alright, can't find anything about it. No worries. We will crack on anyway. Um, man, I'm flipping health is so bad. Not really much I can do about it. There's like cows and camels and horses. Yeah, more cows. Camels. Is there a pig somewhere? Or is that down here or something? I thought I remember seeing pigs, but maybe not. Maybe they settled on them? No, I don't know. But they would give us a bit of health. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It's not too much though. And it is only food that you lose from health. It's not as bad as having bad happiness. Okay, let's get the cement, that market done too. Alright, what do we want to go for next then? General ship is decent, but I don't know, like, is that really worth it? Because these are cheaper, and surely, like, kind of having two of them is kind of better than having... Do you know what I mean? Like, or it's obviously not two to one, but having more units is, is kind of equivalent to having a stronger one. Unless it's, like, too far behind. Um, but, like, if you attack two on one, you pretty much always get a kill. So, I guess you're less likely to lose a unit. It's hard to say. I wouldn't mind going to that, but we kind of need to finish all the other buildings first. Conquest, build a fort. Plus two health in all cities, that's kind of decent, isn't it? Borobada, plus one production from priests. That's quite interesting, you know, because we are struggling with production quite a bit. Priests, I believe, currently give one production, one gold. That's not a bad one as well. 25% bonus food on growth. Two free specialists. Quite like that too. Double great person points from buildings. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. This also seems pretty good. Medic one promotion plus one food from scientists in all cities. This is also quite good. Maybe we go for this. Then we could like build some units quickly as well. And have them have bonus experience also. 
Okay, speaking of units, let's get ourselves a catapult, I think. Okay, we're finishing off some farms, nice. Yeah, I mean, they can't get there in one turn anyway. Virginians, oh, the Greeks are gone, bruh. It's just flipping Rome then. It's a little scary. It's okay, yeah, we'll get a great person next turn. I was thinking maybe I could have tried to get it last turn, but I forgot. They're chilling. I mean, I'm not going to attack them in the flipping woods. I need them to come to me, really. <laughs> um... Oh, I kind of completely forgot to say. We're going for the historical objective. <laughs> we we built the wonders for two of them, and the final one is just to get to 5,000 culture before 170 AD, which seems like we have a decent amount of time to do, so I'm not too worried about that. I could just go for that. Aesthetics. And medicine. Quite like this too. Let's go for this. I feel like we need production, really, more than anything else. Bit of gold doesn't hurt as well. Okay, let's do this farm also. Can I go here? Nice. Kind of thinking of going for this. So these are basically like kind of worse versions of catapults, I think, that do collateral damage, but don't have as much of a withdraw chance. I don't know, maybe it's not really necessary. Get some walls, could just finish this off. Get some more happiness. Barracks feel really fucking expensive, man. So I probably won't make units here. Uh, okay. Alright, fuck it, let's go for this. Maybe we will actually go for conquest. Nope. Wouldn't mind conquering, conquering Ethiopia and getting some of these resources down here. Thought well, that could be cool. Yeah, we're seriously struggling to build stuff here. Only <laughs> Amelie! I should take it. 
That'll be some health once we get that done. I think Breeze pillaged it or something. Let's get that plus four experience. Get a catapult with decent experience from that. Rome's been doing some fighting. I wonder who this is. Is this? It still says it's Greek League, but I don't apparently know the Greeks anymore. Uses to talk. Why they hate me, man. Ah. Well, can I kill a stupid. Oh, what? Can't even go there. Alright, well, it's kind of annoying, like, where they're positioned, actually. It's probably not a good idea. It's a desert as well, so I think he would get stuck if we did that attack. Interesting. We could do some collateral damage. I suppose we should just finish this off. Hmm. I'm a little tempted to try and deal with these guys first, just because... These guys are going to have to attack across a river with a plus 60 defence. Percent defense city as well. Whereas these guys, we could try and clear them up and then bring all our troops over or something like that. And I can use this guy. Okay, try not to die, mate. Very guys, job. Wow, he did fuck all actually. Well, I think we gotta just try anyway. Yes, mate. Damage one unit by flanking. Wow. That's a thing? Flank attacks against catapults. It's not really very useful, because once we get to the ballista, it's going to die anyway. It's more just difficult trying to get through these fucking... Wow, this is going incredibly well. Let's kill this idiot then. Oh, 
<laughs> wow. That went very fucking well. Ooh, I might do this, you know. We can do this and then spam out some units in this city. Once we have the thing built as well. Let's do it. And... Fuck the catapult, I don't think we need it right now. How do you do this? Okay. Also, what are we working instead? Mm, actually, would rather work. Actually, let's go full merchant. I feel like merchants might be better than scientists. I was hoping we could get a scientist and build one of them academy things. Um, but yeah. Didn't happen. I suppose we've got to try and stay away from there. Well, that is surely... Let's go, mate. We'll sign peace treaty Ethiopia. So what I might do, I might take this in a bit. I wonder how many... It's going to reduce the growth of our cottages and stuff, but a lot of them are already quite big. Um... Lower unit, plus two happiness, I quite like. I think I might go for a forge would be really cool as well, you know. And building lumber mills. Yeah, Alright. Let's have that. Okay, we can probably kill these guys then. Farm. I need to doing ballista things. Okay, sure. I don't really want him to pillage all my shit here. Do your thing. Dosh. Very cool. I don't quite understand zone of control yet on this game, but... It seems like you are allowed to kind of move next to people without getting zone of controlled. Alright, now... Hmm... Probably not a great idea. Alright, how much health have we got here then? No, let's heal these guys a bit. Like, they're not really doing anything, so... There's honestly no rush. Seven turns. It does seem to be quicker in cities, so... Then again... 
Yeah, all right, let's have them in there. I think they're immune to collateral damage, yeah. Okay, cool. Killed a stupid galley as well. Pretty happy about that. <laughs> it would be a shame if someone finished all your shit, right? This is Babylon. I guess that's them. Can I do it now? No. Okay, we'll do it next turn. Alright. Yeah, I feel like they would come and kill my worker if I went there. We'll go there in a bit. Go like that. Um, I want to work this here. I don't know, maybe this as well. <laughs> Fuck it, bro. Since we get to put food into that as well, seems pretty good to me. Built that, unfortunately. Okay. I can actually build the lumber mills here in a sec. Alright, we probably will do that. Okay. Another independent nation up there. Colossus there as well. Oh, I wonder if we made a couple of boats we could go and conquer that. That would be lovely. Rome is willing to negotiate. Okay. See how it is. Or a galley, then I could take over some other units. Uh, is that good? Not really. Jewish synagogue. Sure. Why is he so much stronger? He's got like one promotion. Hmm. So, these guys are healing. Alright, we'll have to use that guy's garrison. So maybe we... Like next turn or something, we could probably do a big attack. That's what I reckon. Okay, so Carthage is gone, replaced by independence, it looks like.
We ungrew here? That is my bad. That really should. Because they fucking stood on. Oh my god, bro. Very annoying. Whoops, I really meant to change my civic. Oh, okay, no. It's weird, the production happens first, it always confuses me. Man, look at that. Lovely pool of people we have there. Yeah, sure, let's work a priest for now. Um, so, bonus building units. Yeah, let's just go with this. We will create some really nice new units. Guess we won't do any science this time. That's cool. Are we ready to go here? Sure. Okay, that's unfortunate. He did a bit of damage though. Happy with that. Let's go with this guy. Bro, I am just so on it today. I'm so fucking good at this game. Okay, who's the best man for the job here? Maybe I use this guy who has no. He's more likely to die, but he could also retreat. Better to try and keep more units alive or get certain units with lots more experience. Uh, let's go with. Oh, don't be like that, bro. Don't just get fucking smashed. Oh, they should be done now. Okay. Very cool. The sun. We've done a great job there. I feel like. The fuck is this Berber camel rider? Can probably kill me. I guess it will have desert movement. Yeah, okay, I definitely don't understand zone of control. Maybe I now build a war galley. And it will have two bonus experience, I guess, because of the conquest thing. Or does it not count? Land units. That is unfortunate. Orthodoxy has been founded. Interesting. Don't know where that is. 
Not seeing everyone. So I might want to go and attack up there, which I think just means that we go for this. Doesn't seem to be any bonuses to killing archery units, unfortunately. Alright, alright, alright. What should we build then? Um, another catapult, then I'd have two. I think that is reasonable. War elephant sounds reasonable also. Build everything so quickly and look how much experience it's going to have. I kind of want this, but take a bit long. Let's try and uh, conquer Ethiopia before we get to that 170 AD. I'm not sure, like, does the collateral damage actually work off the damage that you do? Like, is it better if you just have more damage? Tell you what we'll do, we'll try some different paths and see which one does the best. Alright, let's uh, build some woodcutting camps as well. Pretty sad that we uh, lost the pop there. I wonder if we'll get that free general from nobility as well, probably not. Okay, I guess next turn we'll start moving forward. Can I send this guy over as well? No, I can't. Happiness is too bad. I don't know why he's so mad. Oh, I could do a send over you. Something like that. Should I build the stable and then some horse units? Or I could just get like a spearman right now. Doesn't really do that much. That's better. Alright, yeah, let's get stable and then war elephants. And let's see what we can do over here. So, Don't 
Does seem to help. Somewhat. Okay, let's send like all the best units that we have. This guy's good and open, so maybe I'll keep him back or something. Okay, I'm going to keep you there. I don't really want this guy to die, but... Alright, let's uh, use these guys here. Great job, mate. some point Farms redone. Might actually go for this mm, soon, at least. The happiness would be very, very useful. Can I get that? Politics. Ah, uh, sure. Orthodoxy here as well, apparently. Okay, well, right now I think we just make a war elephant. It's making our happiness worse, though. Which is a little annoying. Yeah, aqueduct there. that bad well I mean this kind of sucks well let's uh, do bombards first Get rid of all the city defences. 
Then we can use the catapults. Alright, go on then. It's not bad for a first hit. Let's do it next turn. Is there no way we can get this in one turn? I need two more production. <laughs> uh, all right. We will we'll swap that one. Okay. Yeah. Next turn we'll do it. Let's quickly build that and then we can move over to the other Civic quite happily. going to happen with those galleys in there like really Okay. Do we want this? There are like some fish and stuff about. We'll get the fish there. Where's the other city? It's like down here. Yeah, sure. Let's keep it. Actually keeping it. <laughs> we got some cows though. It's kind of nice. This game is a fucking disaster, mate. It just crashed as well. I really need production here. I'm 
معك يا فندم انا جاهز للتحرك Nice one. Feels like pretty important to defend your lands because you don't want them to pillage all your improvements that you spent ages building. We're gonna starve here. Let's try not to. Oh no, that's already meant to be there. Let's do that. Still, really? Oh, uh, here as well. Jesus. Anyway, so we can save this shit. <laughs> no victory soundtrack, unfortunately. But there it is. All right, we get replay as well. Nice. So, Babylon in here, Harappa over here, and us down here. Wow, Babylon was doing very, very well. Thought we were doing well at the start. I mean, I guess we spent a bit of time building wonders, I think, before we expanded or something like that. Sphinx done, China born over there. Greece, bloody Greece. Ah, oh, we got yeah pyramids as well. I mean, it felt quite hard to expand. Like, we had like two good cities. The third one was kind of rubbish, and like any other cities would have been out of our core territory, and other people were spawning like right there as well. So Rome spawned as well. Greece gone munching through, took Jerusalem also, and all that, then gets destroyed by Rome. Then we had our war with Rome, I guess this is Ethiopia down here, and then yeah, we just ate a bit of them at the end. So China was doing very well, India also, and Rome obviously, and us. Shame we never really got to like meet them, that would have been cool. But there we are. I think we're the kind of darkest yellow one there. So, yeah, Rome sort of came out of nowhere. We were keeping up with everyone though. Oh yeah, the gold is real nice. We got those cottages set up early and they uh, grew. That's why we had so much of that. Yeah, I didn't build so many farms. I felt like our military power was decent, especially at the end. Oh, look at that. We're actually winning on tech at the end as well. I guess that's because we had the most money. So we were probably in a pretty good place this game if it had continued. One on gold. Fourth, third, fifth on the others. Yeah, health was terrible. All those food planes. Yeah, shame we never got to see this. Probably like Beijing or whatever they call it on this. Or uh, whatever the Indian capital is on this. But yeah, <laughs> look at how smelly they are. Four hours 45, yeah. Not bad, not bad. I don't want to be Augustus Caesar. That's an insult. Where's bloody Cleopatra or Ramesses on this list?
Yep, I've ended up completing this game multiple times now because <laughs> of all the crashes and stuff. All right. Yeah, that was honestly uh, pretty fun. I guess we'll just end it there. I mean, like, you know, there's no real objective to do now, now that we've done the historical one, one so. Plus one gold from no improvement, that seems weird. Anyway, um, yeah, that was pretty fun. Do we know how much culture we had in the end? Nah. I feel like we got there with a couple of turns to spare, though. Oh, he's become independent as well now. That's kind of weird. So yeah, plan would have been what? Try and conquer, I guess the city is like down here. Something like that. Um, and just sit in our area and obviously sort out happiness. I would have gone for uh, Vassalage next once we had this aqueduct done, I think. Um, yeah, like, obviously the starting position was very nice with all the food planes, good for food, but I mean, you, you have the health problems anyway, so you kind of end up, it doesn't really give you any food, because normally on a grass and you'd have two food, but because you get one unhealthiness from each, well, maybe you don't get one unhealthiness per food planes, but it does uh, stop the growth quite a bit. Um, yeah, just felt like we were really struggling with production. Oh wow, Eastern Orthodoxy is here. We would definitely try and conquer that then at some point. Get that double holy city, <laughs> I'm sure we would be able to hold on to. Um, yeah, and obviously we can make really experienced troops now. Which is also good. And we're heading towards feudalism, so getting some uh, lancers, then we could smash through people. That would be the plan, I think. But it seemed like there's a lot of synergies to go for in terms of like great people, which I think is kind of cool as well. Um, it's a little bit different from the way it works in Civ Five, but yeah, it seems like there's definitely some different strategies. There's trade routes as well. Don't really understand how they work, but potentially you can make a good economy off them. And also, I've been looking ahead, and some of the like bonuses to military stuff are interesting. Also, like. Uh, in feudalism, Himeji Castle, you get culture for every level of fortified units in the city. So if you've built some of these things, like uh, the amphitheater, and um, are building a lot of units, seems like you could have really good culture. Income from vassals as well. If you can get yourself some vassals. So it seems like there's some cool different uh, styles of play. I'm not sure how I feel about the historic like objective being to build wonders because it feels a bit like surely that's so annoying if somebody else builds them like your victory condition just gets built by somebody else and then you can't do it i feel like that must suck um so i don't know it doesn't seem like it's blocked off or anything so that you get like to build it without other people stealing it it just seems like you kind of have to hope for the best um yeah but I definitely enjoyed it, so I think we'll try again with a different Civ at some other point. I may try and try a different game in between. And also one other thing I was thinking is like, I think it would be cool if there was more events. So all of the events that seem to happen seem to basically be like military units spawning next to us, like with the Greece invasion and the Rome one. Like it's cool that it kept the game interesting, that we couldn't really ever switch off because there was stuff happening all the time. I definitely did enjoy it, but I just feel like there could be some, like, uh, non-military events. So, a bit like in Europa Universalis, where you'll get events to, like, build a special building in your capital. Um, that kind of thing. Because there is, like, a proper event system in this game, right? So, I feel like that's possible. Just my suggestions, and, um... Yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this. Let me know what, who you guys would like to see me play next. We could do someone that starts a bit later. Or, yeah, just has a different play style. Um, yeah, other than that, I may stream this evening. We'll see. I plan to. But uh depends how much time I have. 
So I'd potentially see you guys there, but yeah, if not, have a nice rest of your day and see you guys soon.